Do you know how to freestyle? A little bit. Um, it's bailed you out a couple times. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> time to time. It's uh, it's it, it's added to your performance a couple times. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, it might have won you a couple battles. Mm-hmm. It's um, definitely it's definitely lost me a battle or two. Also, for somebody, for somebody that doesn't know uh-huh. really how to freestyle, mm-hmm. and they want to start incorporating that into their battles. What is the Troy Brown guide to how to properly use freestyles mm-hmm. in a battle rap? Um, I would say it works best when you know ahead of time that you, it's sort of weird, but it's like a planned freestyle. It's kind of like, because if you rap and you don't know what to say or you, you, you know, whatever you're trying to do isn't working and you try to freestyle in, that usually, or if you forget and try to freestyle your way back into the written, that never works. But if you go in like, you know what, I got X amount of material and I think that if I freestyle from here, it would be it would be dope. That usually works. You come in, it's um, you know, and kind of just, and just keep fucking going. Don't ever like get rattled because you might freestyle a line that the crowd might not react to. Don't fucking like second guess it. Just fucking keep going, man. The only way out is to go further in sometimes. So just keep fucking going, and uh, and I guess that's the the Troy Brown school of freestyling, which is. Probably didn't teach you much, but fuck it, it's the best advice I got. Oh, I got one more question about that, right? Okay. So you got the, uh, I think the the like step one of freestyling in a battle is to like start your verse off with a rebuttal by okay. just mentioning what someone else says. Yo, you know what? Now yeah, that, that does work. <laughs> now you mentioned. Um, I I seen like a lot of the smack cats start to do it. It's starting to become like a standard now. Okay. Do you think that shit still works? Cause I see people being like, that freestyle was whack. No, if it's, I mean, swack, swack, but uh, if it's dope, man, it worked. You know what I'm saying? If it's dope, and it also depends on the room you in, because you can tell a freestyle room versus a room that's not trying to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? So some sometimes, man, people would rather hear it. You know what I'm saying? They just want to see something spontaneous, especially if, you know, it's been going on in the night. You might be seventh, eighth battle. People have kind of seen it. You know what I'm saying? They just want to hear something crazy you know what i'm saying so sometimes it works you got to kind of know when to do it and when you know when not to i guess it's, it's, it's the same thing with written honestly man it's kind of know what to come with and what to kind of hold back on you know what i'm saying so for this event man i'm actually kind of interested it's a two-day event i'm interested in seeing how the crowd is on day one uh because that will kind of you know kind of give me some clues on what i should do but yeah man you just gotta feel the room out sometimes you know